What's up, douches? Uh, I'm doing this one just because Stephanie keeps on b bothering. I wasn't. I was trying to ignore it. At. Uh, Nine oh six this morning, someone anonymously signed me up for Here Comes the Guide, our wedding. Here comes the guide, our wedding planning newsletter written in house and with love. Hello, my name. We've already armed you with our wedding checklist, but what should you tackle right now? Blah, 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 blah. And I assure you, I did not sign up for this. Although whoever Jenna Miller is, creative director of Here Comes the Guide, looks hot as shit. This is probably a picture of her from like two years ago. I'm not going to show it. Damn, this bitch looks pretty fucking hot. Of course, there's no picture of her on the thingamajiggy. Stupid bullshit. Anyways, I didn't sign myself up for that. Stephanie did. Then I got an email today that basically told me everything's going to be okay. Thank you guys very much. I'm telling you, like... This channel was not started to talk about business stuff. It was started to, tr to troll some people who I think, like, I I've been saying for years that the average age of an influencer is about five years, and about it's been about five years, and all of them basically don't exist, or everyone knows now they're massive sellouts. And these are, like, D-list celebrities and shit like that. <clears throat> um, I got to say, and I also, I call it, look, I... I can't help it if I have actually met some people who have done some things with their lives, even though, like, I think that, I'll be totally honest, I think it's a waste of, like, super awesome hottie. Uh, Ashley St. Clair, though, I told you, she was going to be, uh, even though she's a s single mom, she's going to grow up to become, like, very s successful. And we do need, like, a younger face of the news and whatnot, and I guess that's going to be her and all that bullshit. <clears throat> I guess, like, Maria Bartimo is going to hand her off the torch and all that bullshit. Um, like, I again, I'm, t I'm telling you, like, Ashley St. Clair and Stephanie, even though she's massively annoying, are those are the only two who are hotter in person than on screen. Uh, but... Now everyone's putting all out, all out this information. Of, oh yeah, so but like uh, some some places like to be known for like you know best place to work at and all that bullshit and best work life balance. And I can totally tell this is going to be one of those and all that. Like it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Knock on wood and all that bullshit. Um, I just want like. Honestly, like, now I know that's what's been going on. I can let all, like, the stuff, all my extracurricular stuff that's been bothering me for like, two years, I finally got it all sorted out. No thanks to fucking Stephanie, but I also now, like, it's possible that I actually was also talking to P. Diddy, because what it seems like his M.O. is, is even when he's married, even when he's, like, dating other bitches, he's still trying to, like freak off other bitches and it seems like I don't know how Kevin Nish is involved but it seems like because she specifically asked me questions that are now like it seems like she was referring to P. Diddy because it seems like what he does is if any artist wants to have any kind of a relationship with anyone he gets pissy I told you he's like trying to hog all the bitches he gets pissy starts bribing people and offering them shit. So, like, as soon as Stephanie told me she wanted to move in with me and get married, all of a sudden there was a Grammy and all this fucking film bullshit and whatnot, and there was none of that before. Now, was he threatening her? I wouldn't be shocked. Someone's trying to threaten me, and I laughed at them and told them where the boxing gym was and they meet me there, and no one ever showed up. 
But, I mean... The fact that I got an email today that says, you know, everything's going to be fine and work-life balance and all that bullshit basically lets me think that's what it is. Because if any of this shit I was making up was being made up, I wouldn't have gotten the email and um, all that bullshit. But it's just like, this is so annoying. Like, this is so annoying. This is, this is exact, in my opinion, <clears throat> in my opinion, this is exactly like in the cyberpunk manual, not the shitty one, not, not, not the new one, the good one from the nineties, the cyberpunk 2022 or 2024 manual from 1992 or 89 or some shit like that. That one, it talks about what cool is. Cool is actually not being flashy. Most of the time, people who are like flashy, that's charisma. And you can have high charisma, but low cool. An example would be Andrew Tate, but we won't go, or P. Diddy. P. Diddy has high charisma, low cool. So um, everyone kind of knows he's like a poofy loser, but they kind of put up with him because he has connections. So then in the Cyberpunk 2022 manual, what happens is the, um, the, the rocker pop star girl is dating someone no one knows. They go to the bar, and this is how they explain what cool is versus charisma. The um, head mafia boss for the lo lo local area in the man in in this hy hypothetical s s scenario comes in, sees the hot pop star rocker babe, wants to talk to her, right? tries to show off because everyone in this little small area knows how tough he is, right? Because he has high charisma and everyone knows about it. Or maybe not charisma, but like reputation, right? Like everyone knows he's like one of the, he's not tough, but he's a lackey to someone who is tough. So just play along. Otherwise you're going to have problems, right? But cool is instead of saying anything, the, the hot rocker babe's boyfriend stands up liver shots him sits back down and keeps on drinking because wouldn't you know it he's a prize bare knuckle fighter that's 10 cool you're some lackey to some douchebag who is tough that's like a two cool that guy's got a 10 cool he just one shotted you because you're a pud you know and they're gonna step over you on the way out after they finish their drinks fuck you that's kind of what i did to p diddy if stephanie would have enunciated any of this last year it probably would have gone a lot better for her and for me this is such bullshit like this is i i like i'm telling you once like nickelodeon guts and legends of the hidden temple and all that shit was off of nickelodeon <clears throat> i just stopped watching it i was like this is when i grow up I guess I'm done with kids shows because they all want to have like Degrassi and, and all that bullshit. And I just, I just, I can't do that. What happened to Rocco's modern life and Count Duckula. And I guess I'm just grown up now. I'll play video games. I, I didn't even know who P. Did, like I knew P. Diddy existed. I didn't know a thing about him because I don't listen to any of that bullshit. At all. I know that Jay-Z made that song, 99 Problems. That's about it. I've been too busy. To, like, literally. I have, like, I went from, like, oh, shit. I'm trying to, like, you know, not get in trouble for all this bullshit from when I was a teenager. And I'm, like, in my early young 20s. And then... until I got a job at the power plant. And by then, I was like about to turn 30 and I was like I don't give a fuck about any of this bullshit. I just want to, you know, my plan was to like get a whole bunch of certifications so I could start like hacking yachts and make my own company, but instead I got pulled into a whole bunch of political stuff and taking down P Diddy. Pro bono. Stephanie, is that what this is all about? When when you told your company you wanted to move in with me, P Diddy got pissy. Is that is, seriously? Is that what this is all about? I'm still mad at you because you don't speak or use your words. 
But the fact that you're still calling me up and hanging up and signing me up for here comes the guide. What the fuck? The guide to what? I know they're playing off of the song Here Comes the Bride. It's just a... I don't get it. I, I, think, I think it's a stupid joke. I'm gonna... When I say bullshit... Like, there really is some kind of a cult, and people get mad at you if you don't want to join it, and if you are successful on your own. Even to that point, even at, just like Cicada says, the whole point is like, if even if you get wealthy, people are going to say, oh, that's lucky. You, that, that, that fucker got lucky. But if you get rid of it, give it all away, use it to do pro bono bullshit to catch P. Diddy, and then you do it all over again, they can't say shit. That's that's one of the lessons of Cicada. Like, cancel culture is bullshit. Actions speak louder than words. Stephanie, is this literally what this is all about? Is that when you were going, I'll explain later. Were you saying that P. Diddy was basically blackmailing your dad? Well, again, the P. Diddy shit, like, why is your dad trying to convince me that Sam shit is anything other than a bullshit movie that you should have never done? There's still that issue, so like after after I sucker oh a, after P Diddy tries to sucker punch me and I just bob my head a little bit, liver shot him, then your dad starts mouthing off to me. Are you fucking kidding me? Why is your dad protecting? Why is your dad protecting P Diddy? That's a bridge we still got to cross. Let me guess the big secret. You're not telling me is that because you have my money, you didn't have to take P. Diddy's money. That doesn't mean you have to do... I would rather be in the whole 100K than have you be a smut actress. FYI. So bullshit. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I've got some more shrimp left over. Even though they say it's pre-cooked shrimp, I still fry it up again. I'm going to fry up some shrimp with some... Sausage. I'm gonna fry up some more rice. Even though I like rice, I might switch it up for noodles tomorrow. I got a bunch of rice and noodles. What the fuck? Why is any of it? You guys have no idea how easy it is to like. Like anyone could have stopped all this bullshit. Like, you don't understand. I keep on saying, like. Everyone thinks like I'm some. I, I'm not even. I'm not even joking. Like other people have told me this. People think I'm like some kind of superhuman, and I'm literally just doing what people used to do normally in the '80s. Like I just saw something about the mountain men of like the Rockies. Remember, like the mountain men in like the 1800s. Like I'm gonna go live in the mountains. I'm gonna shoot beaver and skin deer and live in the mountains. Like, those fuckers were probably, like, superhumans. I'm literally just doing what they used to do in the 80s. That's why I say I think something happened in 2009 with the TV that, that screwed everyone's mind and started, like, frying their circuits. Like, in the 80s, people just used to, like, hold down steady income, you know, like, run a mile, do some push-ups, and, like, anyone messes with their girl just fucking liver shot them. That's it. And P. Diddy is used to dealing with, like, fuckers who are like, oh, what Nickelodeon says. Oh, look, Nickelodeon is stupid. Nickelodeon had Rocco's Modern Life, Doug, Count Ducklia, uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? What was the other one? Alex Mack, kind of, sort of. I thought that was stupid. I thought she was hot. Pete and Pete. I thought it was funnier as shorts in between. Salute Your Shorts was awesome. Dana became a lawyer. Dana was really hot. She became a lawyer out in Arizona. I was like, damn. There's a lot of hot bitches out in Arizona. But, like, those are the good shows. 
And even then, I'm sure there was some weird shit going on with all that. But nothing said like once they had all these like little kids having their own shows. I was like, there's probably something going weird on. And if I watch it, I'm probably contributing to it. Anyways, like, I'm gonna go back to like deciding what video game I play next, or finally log it into doing more CPEs. I'm I'm like th I'm like this close to logging back into CPE bullshit, but. If I have like a few more days until until all that, I might as well just play some more video games. Work life balance is the best. Alright guys, peace out. No, oh my god. No, so anyways. Literally, like I saw somewhere that there's hundred and twenty or hundred and fifty victims. I think they said last time I checked, they said hundred and twenty victims in total on the P Diddy thing, and that eight percent of them are Asian and that's like 9.6. So if we round up to 10, that would be like girls generation and maybe crystal. If we round down to nine, that would be girls generation. I don't know if that's how it is. I just know that for some fucking reason, I'm involved in all this bullshit and I don't want to be. And officially on record, I'm someone who blew the lid on it because I wasn't afraid of crypto.com arena i don't think rick i stand by what i said a year ago if more people knew who who thomas sowell was than know who rick ross was we would live in a much better world thomas sowell is like a doctor of economics him and milton friedman pretty much tell you for free how to have a much better lifestyle and everyone is mad at him and they would rather give all their money to Rick Ross who is literally in some cult where they think they're doing sex magic on you and maybe they are, but it's all coming out now. It's like actually in the news and I've been, I've been saying this for two years because I didn't want to be involved. Stephanie hit me up. There's video evidence of it. She hit me up told me we're soulmates, that she wanted to move in with me and get married, and that she was pregnant, stupid fucking whore, and then she runs away to fucking Korea and all this crazy bullshit. L like, as crazy as it sounds, that is literally what P. Diddy has done to other girls before, though. I don't care about the money. I care that, that you never explained it. If I cared about the money, would I have been making AI art? about you and your stupid friends while you were said you were going to explain it and then never did. It's rude as fuck to be in that smut scene. It's rude as fuck to not explain it. Maybe I'll play a Final Fantasy 12. I don't know. Peace out. Final Fantasy X 2 sucks. I do not want to get all the achievements for it. I see why very, like, I got one of the achievements for it, and it's like I found out that like 9% of the people who have ever played the game have even gotten that achievement, and I guarantee you it's because the game sucks so bad they didn't want to continue playing the game. 